What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video today. I am so, so excited to play this deck. Uh, this is the Ozolith Crystal Aggro deck. This is one that I've seen myself up against a lot uh, and found myself really, really wanting to play it. Uh, very, very cool list. Obviously focused around artifacts and the Ozolith as well as, uh, well, in our deck, Mecha Godzilla, but uh, Crystalline Giant. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through the list here. Uh, first of all, it's running 22 lands. This is an aggro deck. We curve out at three. Uh, and so we don't need quite as many. Uh, we do have four Ginger Brute here. Uh, it's a 1-1 haster for us, but it can also be unblockable uh, in certain circumstances. And you'll see later on, we get to power this guy up, which is awesome. Uh, the Shadow Sphere here, we've got two of them. Uh, obviously, we can't have more than one of these, so it's not really worth having a ton of them in the deck. But... Uh, it does get around Hexproof and Indestructible, but it also gives Trample and Lifelink as well as a little bit of a Power Toughness buff, uh, so quite good in this list. Uh, the Ozolith here is a really interesting card. This is one of the best cards for, for this list, obviously, because uh, we're going to be dealing a lot with counters, uh, and not just 1-1 one, one counters like plus 1, plus 1, though that is a big part of it. Uh, some of it is with, uh, you know, keyword counters, which we'll see uh, on the Crystalline Giant. Um, What's cool is if uh, if any of our creatures die uh, at the beginning uh, at the beginning of combat on our turn, those counters which are moved over when the creature dies to the Ozolith, we get to put one of them on one of our other creatures, uh, and so we kind of get to move these counters around so things don't you know they die yes, but we get to keep stuff around uh, via those counters. Now it is only one counter per turn; it's not going to be anything crazy, but. Crystalline Giant really makes it kind of crazy because you get to put a keyword counter on Crystalline Giant uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn. So you kind of get to throw stuff onto it uh, all the time, which is really cool. Uh, Stone Coil Serpent here, uh, a really, really good card in this deck. Uh, protection for multicolored is fantastic. It's an X spell, so it's going to scale. Uh, so however many lands you have, you can make it that strong. Uh, it also has Reach and Trample, which is huge for this. Uh, Trample is really, really important. Uh, just so we can power through a lot of, uh, of board positions. If we look at the two drop slot, we have Steel Overseer, which is a big engine card for this deck. Uh, you, you tap it and you put a 1-1 counter on every artifact you control. Obviously, as you're seeing, a lot of our artifacts, or, or excuse me, a lot of our deck is artifacts. And so every artifact creature we control is just going to start getting plus one, plus one counters at least once a turn. Um, really, really powerful card. Uh, all that glitters is insane in this list because, again, everything's an artifact uh, or an enchantment, essentially, and so this is just going to buff things like crazy. You throw this on, like, a Stone Coil Serpent, you're looking at, like, a 10-10 Reach Trampler, not to mention if you've got, like, the Ozolith and the Crystalline Giant combo kind of thing going, you've got some really, really strong stuff. Awesome, awesome card. This is very much a finisher for this deck. Uh, Glass Casket is a nice little way to deal with, you know, early game threats, stuff like that. Uh, it can be any creature the opponent controls. It can't just be any permanent, but can be three or less. So the idea here is to clear the board and get our get our stuff through. Uh, Animating Fairy is a really interesting one. You can target non-creature artifact you control becomes a 0, zero artifact, and then you put four plus one plus one counters on it. You tag that to an Ozolith or even a Shadow Sphere, but really an Ozolith is the big one. It already has counters on it. Animating Fairy just makes it that much stronger and makes it into a creature. So really, really cool interaction there. Uh, Lurus uh, essentially lets us bring almost everything from our from our graveyard back. So if any of these guys die uh, or if we lose and all that glitters, this just lets us bring it all back. They're all permanents, so it's fine. Uh, Lurus, really, really an all-star in this list for sure. Granted, it is only one card per turn, but it keeps us in it, which is cool. We kind of talked about the Crystalline Giant, but uh, essentially at the beginning of combat on your turn, you choose a kind of counter at random uh, that the Crystalline Giant does not already have. Uh, that could be Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and a plus one, plus one counter, and then you put one of those counters on it. So it has to be one it doesn't already have. Uh, Shambling Suit, 
Uh, very, very good. Uh, again, kind of similar to all that glitters, except only for the power side of it. Uh, our whole deck is artifacts, essentially. So this is going to be a very, very strong threat. And then we have a two of Teferi here as well to just bounce things, draw us a little bit of extra stuff, uh, and keep us in the game. Like I said, 22 lands, even split 7-7 seven and seven on the Plains and Islands, 4 Hollow Fountain, only 2 Temple of Enlightenment. Uh, we don't want too many tap lands, but it is nice to scry. And then Bonder's Enclave is a great way to uh, draw cards later in the game if you find yourself needing to. So, let's jump in. I, uh, I am very excited about this deck. I think this deck is sweet. Uh, I've been up against it a couple times. I don't think I've beaten it. Um... Then again, I was kind of testing some weird decks, but I do think this is a good one. So let's try it. Let's try it. <sighs> let's see. And this is exactly the, I mean, m minus like a Steel Overseer, this is exactly the kind of start that we would like to have. Um, we get, you know, if we want, turn one uh stone coil serpent into all the glitters and then turn three we can either drop to fairy or equip it with a shadow spear so like that's pretty good um <laughs> we'll see uh the spell chaser huh i've not seen this in standard though i know that there is a little bit of a deck running around for it we're gonna keep this we're gonna give it a shot this is not as aggressive of, of a hand as we could see Excuse me, um, but it's not bad. <laughs> Go ahead and throw this out there. They may have a shock. This is, you know, a definite possibility against a deck like this, and that's fine. This is a bit of a must answer, though. Um, they may not see it that way quite yet, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try this. My assumption is they'll respond. Uh, thankfully, we drew the Ginger Brute, so that's actually okay for us if they do. Um, sure. That's fine. Uh, obviously not super happy about it, but... You know, worse things have happened. And here we get to kind of tag on to the Ginger Brute. So that's kind of okay. I'm not going to attack here. I am going to wait. Uh, very possible they have another way to deal with this. But, um, you know, we'll we'll do our best. Hmm. Ugh. Well, that feels bad. We kind of knew that was coming, but that does still feel quite bad. Uh. Hmm. We could gain three here. I kind of don't think we need to. That's pretty good. Uh, yep. We're gonna take a big hit here. We'll see what we can do though on the uh, onset. Um, unfortunately, they just have a lot of burn, which sucks for us, but. It is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. Cool card. Hmm. I mean, that gains us a little bit of life, but it really doesn't stop everything. But we can't... I don't think we can truly bounce anything that they're doing, other than the Fire Minds research, obviously. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, they just had all the burn in the world. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Uh, cool deck, though. I like that one. All right. Well, let's jump into game two.
I will be honest though, if they had not had the like so much burn, um, because they had two shocks, they also had uh, whatever that last burn spell is. I always forget the name of it. Um, and a bone crusher giant. Like they had a stacked hand versus what we were doing. So let's see what we can do. Yep, I will keep that. I'm just gonna play the ginger brute first. <laughs> We're gonna be up against burn decks like all day. I know it. <laughs> That's okay. All right, uh, let's do land. That and we'll do this. Um, they can, I'm sure, kill it or shock it or do something like that, but we need to diversify threats uh, when we know that they have burn. <clears throat> okay. So I can equip the Shadow Spear if I would like. Maybe that's the way to go. Uh, just to get this... Um, I, I think this is correct. I could be wrong. Um, but it's going to gain us a little bit of life and it does get it out of like shock range, for instance. Um, which I think is okay. It's still, I mean, there's still plenty of burn that can deal with it, and I'm sure they're about to. Yeah, Lava Coil. Um, but we did get a little bit of a life swing in our favor. Now we also have the Shadow Spear out, so we can just kind of start equipping it to whatever we'd like to. Not going to block here. Second Shadow Spear. Um... What did it get? Lifelink. Uh, I'm going to attack here. If they want to block it, that's fine. <clears throat> I love the Mecha Godzilla. I think that's awesome. If they deal with this, it's fine, because we do have another one. Um, we also have the Shambling Suit, so... Huh. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to block. That might be incorrect, but we're going to try it. Um... Hmm. <laughs> This has lifelink. So if we all that glitters, that's one, two, three, four. That's seven. Don't think that's enough, right? <laughs> yeah, let's get this guy out. Lifelink and hexproof. That's very good. Um, we just kind of have to hope they don't have enough burn, I think. Can we even win this? No, we, we can't, right? Yeah, they got it. Man, unfortunately, we are just being outclassed here. And maybe I'm playing this wrong. I don't know uh, 100%. I think... I, I don't think there was anything we could have done to get out of that. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. Feel free. Let me know in the comment section for sure. Um, I'm not 100% sure because we are still kind of learning this deck, but I still love it. It still feels awesome. Like, I, I think this is a very good deck for sure. Um, we've been against Bird both times, but that's okay. This is a bit of a slow hand. Um, I'm going to try and mulligan this. This is a little bit better. 
Let's play you on the bottom. Actually, let's play you on the bottom. <laughs> All right, ginger brute. Let's do it. Uh, if we get a land, we're doing okay, I think. There we go. Um... I'm gonna all that glitters this. That way next turn we can drop Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Love saying that. Uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do. That's not a bad draw either. Hexproof. That's what you want. Well, hello. Uh, let's drop you. And we'll drop you. That's pretty good. Uh, and Death Touch. Sure. Uh, man, that's a cool card. We just have to hope they don't have a Sweeper, I suppose. Well, and if they do, we get our Ginger Brute back, if I'm not mistaken. So, like... And then we've got counters on the uh, Ozolith here. Well, that is not a sweeper. <laughs> um, we're not going to play that all the... I mean, there's no need to uh, at this point. I actually think we don't do... What do we got? First strike. Okay. I mean, they literally have to block. I honestly don't think we play this out here. Maybe we do now, uh, considering... I, I know I just said not to. The only reason I, I initially say that is because if they have a sweeper, that's really bad for us. Now, the other thing we can do is just kind of tag up onto this and hope we get trample. Which we didn't get, but we did get flying. Um, I think it's correct, though, to leave the shambling suit back. Uh... It's an Azorius deck. I have to assume that they've got something that's going to, you know, do some damage here. That's kind of fine. Ooh. Let me read this. Yeah. Okay. So, this. Oh, lifelink. That's pretty good. All right, well, we just kind of keep beating face and see what happens. They have another deputy. It doesn't win them the game if they do just play deputy, but. What you got? <clears throat> what are you? Oh, okay. Well, you can do that anyway. Um, we will drop the Overseer here. Vigilance, too. Why not? <laughs> I mean, they're hanging on. Gotta give them credit. Having the Shambling Suit as backup here is quite nice because, um, you know, we're hopefully going to be able to drop a good bit of stuff here. That doesn't work that way. Man. Super cool. There we go. That's what we were looking to do this whole time. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, we did get one win at least. Uh, and we will jump into another video here with this deck. I think this one is a really, really sweet car uh, sweet collection of cards. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. We saw it has its faults against things like Burn. Uh, and unfortunately, Mono Red is fairly popular. So, obviously, you got to be aware of that. But... Uh, I do think that this is a sweet, sweet deck, so I'm really excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. Please make sure to check out the second video coming out very, very soon. Uh, and I really do appreciate all the support lately, guys. It has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We are at our highest peak I think we have ever been at, so thanks to all of you. So really do appreciate it. Make sure to check out our links down below and make sure to enter our Akoria giveaway. I've mentioned it in almost every video. 
uh, that you're, you're, you can subscribe and comment to enter. So thank you guys very, very much. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.